In today's video we're going to look at saving time in Xero by setting up your favourite reports as favourites in Xero. The other thing I'm going to look at with you is you might have noticed if you use the old style and the new style profit and loss and you want to favourite both of them, how then can you tell which is which on your menu? I'll show you what I do, what works for me when I want both of these reports as favourites in my Xero account. Let's head into Xero and take a look. Okay, we're on the Xero dashboard and we want to run a profit and loss account. So if I go to the accounting menu, there will be some reports that are already set up as favourites and I want the profit and loss account. So I'm going to go down and go, oh good, it's in my favourites, let's choose it. I get there and then I go, ah, actually this is not the one that I want. I want the old style profit and loss. So what I tend to do is at the very start when I'm using an organisation in Xero, I'll go into the reports menu, I'll look through it and I'll decide the ones. I know the reports that I use on a regular basis. I'll use more. So for example, I'm happier with the old style balance sheet and I'll remove the new. Then let's get to the profit and loss and I actually want both of them. And then age receivables, I might want detail rather than summary. Same with age payable. So I spend a bit of time if I'm in my zero or in a zero account for my clients, choosing the reports that I'm going to want on a regular basis and I will favourite them. And I can't stress how much time that will save if you do that. So now when you go into the accounting menu, you head down to the reports section and the favourites that you want are here. But there is one problem. I have favourited both the old and the new style profit and loss. Am I going to remember which is which? Probably not. Let's choose the first one. So I'm going to say, ah, okay, I know the first one is the new style. Let's choose the second one. And of course, it's going to be the old style, but I don't think I'm going to remember that. So this is what I would do instead. I would go to the accounting menu. I would go to reports and I'm going to pick up the new style. I'm not going to change anything on it. I'm going to leave it as the default, but I'm going to say save as and I'm going to say save as a custom report and I'm going to call it new. I'm going to make it the default and I'm going to save. So I'm going to go back into the reports menu. I'm going to make it a favourite again and this time look what happens. When I go to accounting, it's now got the word new against it. Now the reason that has happened is because I have said when I choose the new style profit and loss account, I want this to be the default. It's exactly the same as before, but it has the word new on it. So now when I go to my favourites, I know which is which. So just to recap what we did there, we went to accounting, we went to reports. We spent some time looking at the reports, choosing the ones that we're interested in on a regular basis, and we gave all of them a blue star. And it's as simple as that, but it is a real time saver. If you liked the video, please let me know that you liked it. And why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. Any questions, any comments, put them below and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.